Here's Smith now on second down. And he can't hang on. That's definitely going to be one he wishes he had back. Incomplete in the end zone. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. Throwing on third down, Smith. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Seven yard line. On oh, the stop there defensively, Tyler Davison. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. Four down, four down. Blue 20, green 80. Now Brady throwing on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. play action. Now it's Brady. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. 15 yards through the air and a first down. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking a fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. Alright, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Hey, hey! Here They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! On second down, here's Brady. And the catch good. It's Eifert. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Second down pass play got them eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Good for 16 and a first. 
I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? Marcus Gilchrist there to bring him down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. second down and he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29 yard line all that gets him is just a yard and now it's third down this will be the eighth play of the drive here third and four Gun, it's Brady fighting to stay upright, and that is incomplete. Yeah, and that play was pretty well doomed right from the start. The pressure is really affecting him, uh -huh. collapsed everything in the pocket. He had to move around, try to get it downfield, incomplete. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this score will stay right where it is. I tell you, it's not easy kicking field goals in the best of conditions. Yet in a downpour like we're in right now, it makes it that much harder. And sure enough, they can't convert here. Here. And now out comes Minnesota. And they had a little Back, what is that? last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not all now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits mm -hmm. to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets mm -hmm. a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Now maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Smith to throw on second down. And an alley to run. And they'll set up shock right near midfield at the 49-yard line. The tight end Kelsey was the intended target. And Brandon, the passing game for both of these teams is going to be affected as the game goes along. It's not looking like the rain's going to let up anytime soon. So that might mean a few more wobbly passes and wide receiver slips. And this one winds up getting intercepted. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter wow. about to get underway with the Packers in possession of the football. Right and they've got it here short. with a first down. Shot, From the 34 now, here's first Wait, and 10. Shot. I do. You with my dog? What you mean? The ones the one in my door, the little black ones? And the little white ones? First down, the run with Lynch. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. When and they're back, an when intriguing they're back decision there defensively because they kept Take extra DBs three. on the field despite seeing the multiple huh? tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they Are were going to switch out you? of it. I didn't know if they felt yeah. they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed <laughs> allowed for great penetration as Be they careful, stopped that bro. one behind the line of scrimmage. I love you. Okay. Uh, you ain't good at lying. <laughs> to throw on second down. Brady. Throw left side. Taken in by Galladay. 
And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. The Packers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. My 20! Working from the gun, it's Brady. Open man is Taylor, he's got it. First target, first catch, and a first down. When I played in the yard as a kid, I used to imitate the spectacular catches that I would see on TV. I don't think I ever imitated one quite that well. <laughs> Come on, give yourself some credit. No, I know better. What we just saw there, that was pretty special. Play fake here on first down. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. His big tight end, Tyler Eifert, the intended receiver. And it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Looking back to the air on second down. It's Brady. Throwing for his running back. He's got him complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. It's a gain of seven. And just like that, it's third down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Complete to the right side. It's Eifer. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Play 20! Play 20! To throw, it's Brady. And this is going to be intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That's now his second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. That's about what you would expect since they're so efficient on picking up third downs in the top five in the NFL. It's all a mindset, and I guarantee you, it started in the offseason. Third down's important to them. They find a way to pick them up at a very good clip. Right back to him on first down. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally 
and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Looking to throw on second down. Smith. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First catch on that one for Kelsey, and it's a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Smith now. Looking to throw on second down. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Smith now 5 out of 10, 50% throwing it. Not so hot, but he does have a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. What? Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here's Smith to throw on second down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. To throw on second down. Smith, he almost had it. The big D lineman nearly had an interception instead it falls down incomplete the vikings on third down they've been okay two for three thus far this is third and 11. Yellow, yellow. 12, 12, 12. out of the gun smith he's got his man it's taken in touchdown Ryan Grant his second touchdown on the season and the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead the point after threw the raindrops up and good and the lead grows to 10 nothing Bailey now to kick this one away this will be fielded at the six And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. A nice gain of 21 yards. Well, that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front, completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. On first and 10, here's Brady. To the left side here for Eifert. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. 
Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Brady now on first down. Oh, it stays up. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw it. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Gilchrist. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. This is Chark Hendrick West. So we hit halftime with our visitors, the Vikings, taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. And they'll run it here. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Tackle made there by Miles Garrett. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Throwing is Brady on third down. Pressure coming from the Vikings and they get there and bring him down. Oh. For his 11th sack of the year. On now is the Packers punter. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Taking it about the 36. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. It's the Vikings turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We got the, we got the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. No, right, 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 right. Now Smith to throw again. Over the middle. Hold in by Smith Schuster. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Appeared to me he was just trying to find an open receiver and got forced out to his right. Had to come off of a guy downfield, try to hit his back. Unable to connect. Should have been an easier throw moving to his right, though. Yeah, much easier, obviously, for a right-handed quarterback. If he was going to his left, a little bit tougher. Exactly. Second and ten, Smith again. And he comes back with one complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And taking it 
get to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep beating the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. To throw on second down to Smith. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Third and long. It's Smith. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Pierre Garçon, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. Bailey got the extra point, and that makes our score 17-0. Bailey now to kick this one away. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Got some real estate inside the 30. 20! 34 yards there and a first down. This has been a good drive go, so far. Go. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. Now Mack. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The best offenses in the world. ones that make adjustments and right now I think this team needs to open things up they keep it on the ground Mac again and able to push his way forward here for a good little game he gets them a little over half of what they needed now they're looking at a third and five but you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. And Forbath will put this one through. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to 3. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, 
You see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. The Vikings offense now heading out to take over. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Here's second and ten now from about the 32. On second and ten, Smith eluding the pressure right. Open man right side of Smith-Schuster complete. And able to rip off a big <laughs> chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. He got 29 yards that time. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Smith on first down. And he's got some space here. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. 11 more on that one and another first down. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. On first down, it's Smith. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And that's the second sack of the game. But this player disruptive in all phases whether he's going upfield coming underneath you name it he's a big time guy you have to block they'll come up after the sack on a second and 12 a shotgun snap for smith flushed out right and he's gonna go down again the amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary let's just face it this offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Smith throwing on third and long. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. So it's an empty possession, and as a kicker, not the way you want to start your day's work. <laughs> and now each team's missed a field goal here so far, Brandon, so apparently neither guy is immune. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They go play action here on first down. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. David Irving with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. Back now at Lambeau. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. 20. Shotgun now for Brady. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 28, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a premium in these games, and now in this situation, throwing an interception here when you have to claw your way back in, that one's going to hurt, and in a big way. They'll run it now, out of the gun, and he'll get this one down to about the 27. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. 
Here's Smith now on second down. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Travis Kelsey, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Vikings capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. No good. Just his second miss of the year. And our score will stay right where it is. Bailey now to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm, at all. Don't want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. <laughs> Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw to the left side here for Eifert. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Here's a give to Lynch, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On play action, now Brady. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. They'll run the option right here on first down. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. On first down, it's Hill. Escaping the pressure right. And he's got room. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Taken down right around the 26. 
typically we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He lost four there, and it's third down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Now this time, Brady will throw. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And that is out of the back of the end zone incomplete. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time, and now it's second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Now Brady throwing on second down. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. <laughs> Marvin Jones, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Packers make some inroads here on that deficit. Formath, the extra point, and that cuts this lead down to 13. Formath out to kick this one away. Now the Vikings offense gets set to take over here. on the pickup and now they'll have some options on second and short here's a second and two now from the 33 chuckle to myself a little bit Brandon because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line I know exactly what they're saying if you call a pass play here we're going to call a timeout Run the <laughs> and he'll get in touchdown Minnesota <laughs> Alex Smith taking it in and the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead and they wasted no time right down near the goal line and they just sneak it in just do what you need to do. Big guys going up front. And the field general, the leader, just falling behind him. Bailey now to kick this one away. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. 
And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no good plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. From the gun, it's Brady. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. It's caught inside the 25. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 53 yards. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. His throw caught at about the five. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Touchdown, Packers! As his guys are in for six. And the Packers get a score closer. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. And the Vikings able to recover. The hands team does its job. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. They'll run it now out of the gun. this inside the 35-yard line. Ten yards is the pickup there, and that should just about put a oh, ball on this one. The ball. Okay. From the 32 now, here's first and ten. Right back to him on first down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And now the Packers going to take another timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And they'll get him down right around the 16. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. Good work to pick up 7 yards there. That gets him into a 3rd and 1 situation. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Third down. It's West. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. It's a pickup of five, and that should just about wrap this one up. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal.
Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Are you I, one of those guys that's skeptical, skeptical about it, or did you skeptical. trust it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice. Got your notes laminated, because, you know, open-air booth, that rain can affect us as well, although not as much as the guys on the field. But let's face it, it's kind of fun to watch these types of games, isn't it? It is. By the way, how impressive is it that you travel with a laminator? I didn't even know there was a portable laminator. The things that you learn. Golly, wise beyond his years. So for the Vikings, it's a nice win to finish off what's been an ugly first half as they move to 2-6. and six. And they'll return home next week to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Meanwhile, for Green Bay, they drop back to 500 now at 4 up and 4 down. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against the Chicago Bears. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody. That nigga slid off fast and that nigga that ain't want no kids.
What up, Clint? Clint. Can you hear me, bro? What's good? Yeah, what's good? My shit. Uh, Shane got gonna work tonight, boy. You try to run? <laughs> yeah, let's run, bro. <laughs> Niggas, is niggas playing their games, man? No. I'm on the invite right now, Scrub. What? I'm on the invite you right now. Hold on, hold on. You, sh you, gotta do, you should do that shit at the same time, bro. Mm. Said if you do that shit at the same time, that shit take way less time. Mm. 